Okay. We're back. Maybe. Yeah, we're back. Why not? I'll just say it. Oh, XCOM crashed too, I think. Yay! Everything crashed. <laughs> are you streaming again? We are streaming again. Oh, okay. I see that we're streaming again. Uh, apparently both OBS and XCOM crashed. They were... One probably caused the other. I would think. They were locked in an embrace and fell into a lover's quarrel. And they decided to end both of their lives rather than... Until we forcibly put them back together yep. against their will. You, you're going to kiss now. You're going to kiss I now. Think, I think this analogy is terrifying. Yes. <laughs> I did not think it through. I did not think. Sudden time skip. Yeah, it's fine. Everything's fine. We're back. XCOM. Look at him. XCorn? XCorn. www.xcorn. <laughs> Tell Jay to IMDB Demon Seed now. You know what? I J will do it right now. Jay, could you that? IMDB Demon Seed right now? Sure. Great. I'm going to do it. He's going to do it right now. I better not be disappointed or it's your fault. <laughs> All right. Oh, with Julie Christie. Okay. I am familiar with this movie. I have not seen it. I always used to get it confused with... Uh, is it The Entity? <laughs> that also sounds like a movie you know a lot about. The Entity. Well, yeah, with Barbara Hershey. That's the movie where Barbara Hershey gets repeatedly raped by a ghost. Oh, my God. And for some reason, I always got it confused with Demon Seed. Oh, okay. I, I, maybe the covers were similar sounds, or something. I don't know. That sounds horrible. It is. I I've, I watched it once, <laughs> like like 15 years ago, just because someone told me the premise. I was like, that sounds fucked up. Yeah. She gets raped by a ghost. Yeah, and it's like, because what can you do? Right. <laughs> it's a ghost. That's a scary premise. I don't remember if the movie's any good. I'd have to rewatch it, but I think it was. <laughs> I mean, that premise is terrifying. Yeah. A yes, ghost that is rapist? terrifying. A ghost rapist. That is terrifying. A uh, gapist? A gapist. <laughs> oh, that's a whole different kind of terrifying. <laughs> uh, Lloyd Beats, Jay, have you seen John Dies at the End? Because it's great. You know, I haven't seen it yet. It's that's what I've been meaning to get around to. Yeah. I like Don Coscarelli. I think the guy who wrote the book follows me on Twitter because it's based on a book. Oh, do we have to protect so, that thing? The guy who wrote John Dies at the End might be yes, a you do. fan of Red Letter Media. I'm not sure. But no, I have not seen it. Okay. It's on Netflix. It is on Netflix. It's been on there for a while. So Courtney. one of these days I'll get around to it. <laughs> There's too many movies. That's There's the problem. There's a lot, of, a lot of, movies. of movies. There's at least a couple dozen movies that have been made. Like in the past year or so? Just in general, sure. There's been li there's been like like tens of movies. Oh, at at least thirty. Yeah. But I don't I don't know much about you know how they make the movies so. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, guts going nuts. Uh, we usually only read comments if you donate two dollars or more, and I'm very sorry. Um, yeah, just keep people from spamming to, the the, uh, the chat, so we would constantly hear "Oh my god," and we we'll see how well that worked. Yep. Or if they're just trying to troll you. Well, and if they want to pay two dollars to troll us, they can, I guess. Yeah, basically. Yeah. That's, you still that's, have the option to not read whatever they wrote. Exactly. That was that was the birth of LOL. Fuck my cock. <laughs> Is that a thing? I said if you want to, yeah. Oh. I said uh, we were talking about why we have a minimum. I said if you want to, if you want me to say LOL, fuck my cock, it's gonna cost you two bucks. <laughs> yep. Okay. <laughs> uh, Jay ba uh, Bennis would like to ask a question. Uh, what was the biggest headache when it came to filming Space Cops in term uh, in terms of continuity? In terms of continuity, was, was there anything that you worried about, like keep it, you know, because obviously it was filmed over a long period of time, right? In keeping the story together, was there anything that you were concerned with? Um, not really, because. Mike and Rich wear wear the same outfit for the entire movie, <laughs> so that would be something if they were constantly changing outfits, trying to keep track of that. Yeah, yeah. But that made it pretty easy. Nah, I don't remember there being any major continuity concerns. Okay. Mainly, mainly because it was like the same clothes through the whole thing, <laughs> and that helped. Sure. Oh my god! <laughs> Thanks, guts going nuts. No now that you have donated two dollars i will read both of your comments 
uh, one, Jack is bald. This is true. <laughs> okay. Uh, two. Pay two dollars to point out the obvious. If, that, hey, if that's what they that's, want to spend their money on, they're they're two dollars. They can do whatever the fucking whatever fucking stupid thing they want to do. That's true. Uh, and his other, I guess it's a question. Uh, but it's for Jay. What about Dark City? Uh, what about it? It's a great movie. It's an amazing movie. That's a very very good movie. I saw that in the theater. I was one of the five people that apparently saw it in the theater because it flopped. Uh -huh. Well, you know why it flopped? Well, it was right around the time of the Matrix. And Titanic was still in theaters and still kicking everything's ass. Are you? Sh oh wait, are you sure? I remember. Oh, that's right. People were comparing it to the Matrix, like in retrospect, because Matrix came out a few years later. Mm -hmm. Um, is that? The oh, okay. I don't remember that. It got it got overshadowed. It got overcast by Titanic. By, by Titanic. Titanic. Yeah, How Titanic strange. was pretty fucking big. Yeah, Titanic was big. That's I didn't see Titanic in the theater, but I saw. <laughs> 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 I saw Dark City. I've still never seen Titanic. No? I'm really happy with that. It's fine. I'm waiting for the hype to die down. <laughs> and That's what I did, because I didn't see it in the theater. I was like, I don't care. Yeah. And then it came out on video, and my parents bought it, so we just had a copy on at that, the house. On that two VHS. The two tape VHS yeah. tape that's in every thrift store ever oh now. Oh, my God! <laughs> and so I finally watched it, because we had it. And mm -hmm. I was like, it was fine. And then I saw it that one time, and I've never really thought about it much since. Hmm. Like, I like James Cameron. Yeah, I did like James Cameron. Uh, Not so much anymore, but... I do love, like, everyone now is coming up with their own thought piece about uh, Avatar. Oh, jeez. And it's one of my favorite things where they're just like... And everyone is, everyone is coming to the same conclusion with Avatar. And I think you guys have talked about this as well, which is Avatar is this record-breaking box office movie. No one has beaten it yet, I don't think. Right, and nobody talks about it anymore. Nobody can remember the movie. Yeah. I said that at the time. That's right. not, this isn't even like a hindsight thing. I yeah. said at the time that movie is so forgettable. It's yeah. so generic. It's the most forgotten blockbuster of all time. Of all, but it's it still holds records. Yeah. Didn't Didn't Force Awakens beat it finally? I don't think so. Still. Okay. Or at least not. You know what? Not things. domestically. I, like maybe internationally. Force Awakens just crossed over a billion. Mm. But uh, it's just one of those things where it just. It's, it's this huge movie that everybody on the planet Earth saw. Yeah. And I had the same reaction to it I did to Titanic, where I was like, it's fine. Yeah. And then I never thought about it again. Yeah. I love it. It's it's fascinating <laughs> how how wonderfully disposable it is. Yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a McDonald's cheeseburger. <laughs> everybody has one. You forget about it as soon as you eat it. Mm -hmm. It's great. Yeah. I saw Avatar. I actually Avatar was the one movie uh, that I saw in 3D that convinced me that 3D was absolute bullshit. <laughs> Here's how unmemorable it is. I don't even remember if I saw it in 3D or not, and that was the whole reason to see it. Of course, that was the whole thing. Yep. Just, just be immersed in the world of Avatar Land. Of Avatar Land. And I, I cannot, for the life of me, remember if I saw it in 3D or not. Uh, oh. Um. Uh, M Hat 74 says, knowing that Rich will one day master XCOM 2, it fills you with determination! Oh, I thought, I thought it was going to say gas. Oh. <laughs> also, LOL, fuck my cock. Mm. <laughs> I like LOL, fuck my cock. Yeah, that's is, it, is it all one word? Yeah, LOL, yes. fuck my cock. Okay. LOL, fuck my cock. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's great. Where did my mouse go? I had a mouse at one point. Uh, you got shit cover everywhere, you fucker. <laughs> I can't run anywhere to hunker down. That's bullshit. I it's complete utter bullshit. I wonder if people who dressed up like the Navi uh, and shit feel ashamed now. They should. They. <laughs> I'm all for people doing, you know, whatever they want, whatever uh, your interests that's are. That's fine. But but if you dressed up like Avatar, you should be ashamed. No. No shame. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if you're like the person who like tried to make wasn't there a person who was like who made like an Avatar camp? Oh where you could God. come up and, and dress like a Navi and live in the nature. Talk and, about getting caught up in the hype, and that's all that was. Like because the movie wasn't anything oh exceptional. God. Right. It's like I remember when Garden State came out 
and I was, you know, that came out in, what sure. was I, early 20s? Yeah, yeah. And, like, I, all my friends were in early 20s, so everybody got so caught up. And, oh, this movie speaks to our generation. Everybody I know is horribly embarrassed to have liked that movie now. Yeah? it's Everybody gets caught up in this thing, and that's the same with Avatar. <laughs> everybody was so caught up in it where it became more about the 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 hype surrounding it than sure. the actual material. Don't but don't you remember Jay when he wore the shirt that looked like the wall? It's a fine shot, <laughs> but it, that's all it was. <laughs> yep. I have an idea for a shot. How do I work this into the movie? Yep. Oh, she made a couch out of this material, and then she used the leftover material to make a shirt. But it's also the wallpaper. But it's also the wallpaper. Like Shh. what? Oh no, she didn't make a couch. It was the wallpaper. I don't know. Which wallpaper is not the same material as shirt Shh. material? That movie it's sucks. Symbolism. <laughs> Don't you understand? <laughs> he feels like a wallflower. If only there was an artistic way to show that he feels like a wallflower. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> I have an idea. Ugh. <laughs> oh. Ah. Adam Motera. What's an average Monday through Friday for YouTube slash Patreon creators like yourself? You don't need to be super specific. Just curious if you guys have an actual work schedule. Not a schedule, but there's usually just shit that needs to be done. Yeah. And it's what 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 movies are coming out? What do we want to focus on this week? Like all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And it changes from week to week because we don't like to get into a boring pattern where we're just like <laughs> churning out you know bland shit every week. Yep. And I we, we want to do stuff that we can be invested in. Yes. And I can tell you, it's not. Monday through Friday, nine to five. It's all day, every day. <laughs> it's always on your mind. Sunday it's to Sunday. Your material, yeah. Yep. You have to do it all the time, every day. Oh, we're all your guys on Overwatch. Nice. Yeah. Boom. Nice. Oh, boom. I can tell you, the last couple weeks was just shoving things in envelopes. <laughs> That was the height of, of uh, really utilizing our creativity. <laughs> was, was mindlessly shoving things into envelopes. Was filling orders for Space Cup. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. a good problem to have, but oh, sure. it, it gets a little oh, uh, mind-numbing. I know. I do know you sent out the bulk of all, like, the all the big bulk of orders are finally sent out now. Yes. So for anyone who's ordered and oh, you don't have it yet. Oh, my Lord. Lord. Shit's gone crazy. Shit's gone crazy. Uh, hello, hello from Anonymous. If YouTube hadn't become a thing and allowed you guys to reach an audience from uh, Milwaukee, what do you think you'd be doing with your careers? Would you have all gone to L.A.? No. No. <laughs> no. Suicide. No <laughs> uh, just other video production. That's what we were doing before. Forgotten suicide. Who? <laughs> <laughs> oh, never heard of him. <laughs> he was your son. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> I had a. <laughs> I, don't, I just don't rem I just don't remember. What an embarrassment. <laughs> what <laughs> Yeah, LA LA is some there are a certain number of people that can really thrive in LA. Yeah. And I I am not one of them. Um, well, also it has to be something that you want. Like yeah. you have to want to be a part of that world. Mm -hmm. No thanks. It's a culture. It's it's its own thing and you know, some people can do it. I, I think we would probably all be doing exactly what we're doing right now, <laughs> only without a YouTube channel. Sure. We were doing this before there was we a YouTube channel. Yeah. <laughs> yep. We were all making videos and putting, sh pushing them out wherever we could push them out before YouTube, so we would still be doing that. Thankfully, there's YouTube. Thankfully, there's the internet, so people can watch it. Uh, to Jack from Loner, Ar Loner, Ar Loner Archon. Loner Archon. How much money from a tip do you have to do your fuckbot voice for an entire stream? 
Oh god. That also, would get, that would get old after like a minute. <laughs> oh also, my god! In Michael Caine's voice, what do we do when we fall? <laughs> Master Wayne, we get up. I thought you did push ups for this kind of thing. That's my terrible Michael Caine impression. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, it would take a lot of money to do fuck. It would ruin my vocal cords, one. Fuck oh, that. God. And, uh, and two, like Jay said, it would take a lot of money because everyone would stop watching the stream after five <laughs> minutes. Someone else would have to donate even more money to get you to stop. Oh, there we go. Now I like it. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, I do my fuckbot voice every once in a while if there's a robot talking or something. You get a little bit of it. That's all you need. Within movement range. All right. Does he go back into cover afterwards? I don't get how that works. Who, your, your, your yeah. sword? No, he does not go back into cover. So, but if your line crosses him, you will slash. And I don't know if you stop when you slash. Yeah, but where do you stop? Like, I don't want to, I don't want to end the turn out of cover. Right? Who are you trying to slash? That guy? Oh, see, look, you have to stop there to slash him. All right. Um, Numenatus. Rich, I love you, man. But oh goddamn. Oh, my God. What? Is that all it says? But, but, goddamn. God, but goddamn what? I love you, man, but goddamn. <laughs> Maybe that's how much they love you. Just so much goddamn. <laughs> they love me so much they're going to damn God the that's hell? Apparent. But I... goddamn. I think, I think that was just like a girl. Goddamn. Well, not, w not when there's a butt in there. But goddamn! But goddamn means you fucked up on something. Like, I love you, but goddamn. I guess. I don't like, know. That's what that means. Fuck. I don't know. <clears throat> oh uh, it my god! Ikatarzo says, I'm feeling sick. Please tell me I'm a handsome, fancy boy and stroke my hair while I dry heave and sweat profusely. No. But we... <laughs> We physically I, can't we do can't that. We can't do that, but here's the thing, Ikatarzo. You are a handsome, fancy boy. How do you know that's true, though? He paid me money to say that. So I know it's true. So because you're saying it doesn't matter if it's true. That's what I'm saying, exactly. Okay. There is no truth. There's no There's no truth. There's only money. We uh, we said we would say the things that people paid us to say if they paid us money, and that's what he did, so I'm just saying the things he wanted me to say. Mm. So I don't understand. This is a business transaction. I don't understand what your problem was. Okay, I get it. How <laughs> How cruel to make you face mind-controlling enemies so early in this game. I, th I think oh this game... I don't hate it! God! I think this game has an agenda to fuck you. Fuck yeah, it, it's... That would, that, would, that would seem to be highly likely. Yeah. Yeah. Um... Adam Otera? Well, we, we've said we will not talk politics. Adam Otero uh, says, besides Donald Trump, who do you plan on not voting for in the 2016 presidential election? Uh, I plan on not voting for Ross Perot. Mostly I'm, because... I'm, I'm not, not voting for Captain Crunch. Oh, there you go. Rich, who are you not voting for? Um, oh, God damn it, I gotta think of something funny. And I, I got, I, I got I less than a second. The moment's passed! Oh, fuck! <laughs> I want you to fuck. think of something funny. Fuck! No, now you, got, now you have to. Now George forced. Washington! There we go, you're not gonna okay. vote for George Washington. Those are people we are not voting for, along with Donald Trump, who's an idiot. <laughs> We're, we, tr we, we don't get into politics. On the show. The politics get into you. We don't get into politics, but that's why it's okay to make fun of Donald Trump, because he's not a politician. He's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> he's a crazy man. He's a crazy man. Uh, Hap78 says, Hey, Jay, did you know that Martin Cor Scorsese considers The Entity one of the greatest horror films of all time? Oh, really? That's what Martin well, Good for him! So it's not... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess that's good to know. Yeah. Because I, I saw it so long ago, I don't remember it very well, and I was wondering if it's, like, like corny schlock or... Sure. But if it's Scorsese-approved, I'm assuming it's good. You, we can I, I would like to rewatch it. Um, also, what are your thoughts on the third Predator movie, Predators? Uh, you know, everybody shit on that movie when it came out, and that I liked it. That was the one it. with the, the handsome man, was uh, Adrian one? Brody. Adrian Brody's yeah. so handsome. I liked it. I, I liked how people were talking about how it, like the story wasn't too interesting, but I liked the simplicity of it. Oh, oh my, God. my God! What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Jack can't oh handle walking. Oh my God! I, was gonna, I needed my charger for my laptop. 
and I broke everything. And instead you just ruined the room. I think Tommy Wiseau ruined the room. But, but I'm trying. <sighs> oh my Oh, you're God. getting behind now. You, you fucked up that. Now everybody's donating. Okay, I'm fixing it. Okay, I fixed it. This is a laptop charger. I can't read your things if I don't have my thing. <laughs> <laughs> Truer read. words have never been spoken. I can't do the thing if I don't have the thing. Right. The good news is I'm I'm kicking veteran mode's ass. All right. At least it's not rookie. So you can do good on the lowest setting. No, no. Lowest is rookie. Oh, okay. Jay. Lowest is rookie. Yes, rookie. <laughs> Wookies are lower nothing, than. There's nothing lower than a <laughs> fucking rookie. <laughs> Why do you think he was Han Solo's slave? <laughs> <laughs> because they're best friends, Rich. They're, they're best friends. Oh, uh, shit. Okay, Martin Scorsese, we did that one for Jay. Or anyone else, I suppose. Like, well, listen, we're not taking off. We're not taking <laughs> Jay's leftovers. <laughs> Any thoughts on the movie Hackers? I haven't seen it since it premiered on cable back whenever it came out. I've it. seen it once, and I can tell you absolutely nothing about the movie. I, I don't remember anything about one guy, it. One guy had, like, a Braille keyboard thing, right? Is that, that, was that a thing? All I remember is being incredibly attracted to Angelina Jolie in it before I knew who she was. Sure. I was like, this lady with the short, bleached hair. Her lips are too goddamn weird. <laughs> well, she's gotten weirder looking over time, but in that movie, I remember being I very attracted to her, but I have not seen it since. Since I was... When did that movie come out? A long time ago. 95? 97? I, I remember like a that? lot about that. Hack the Planet. Matthew Lillard. I remember Matthew Lillard's in it. Um, Her lips, I mean, it looks like she was just stung by too many bees. <laughs> I hate that fat lip look. 95, I was right. The fat lip look? Yeah. I know I'm dissolving a little bit. My The green screen, the lighting change, everything's different now. Everything sucks. The, uh, you know. Oh, Angelina Joni, Jolie of First Generation. <laughs> <laughs> it was exactly the kind of movies in the 90s about hackers that you yeah. would expect. Oh! My favorite was like their visualization of hacking with like the big like glowing towers that were like big buildings and the camera would swoop in. Do you remember any of those? I remember <laughs> nothing about this movie. Oh, I remember the main character is played by an actor that's in train spotting. That's right. That's all I remember. Oh right? Angelina Jolie. Oh my god. Shit's gone nuts. Shit's gone a little nuts. Um, Rich, is it fair to say that the adventures of Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen indirectly saved your life? Yeah. As we were talking yeah. about, it prevent th that prevented Wait, your suicide. This dick's still around? Okay. That's it. Well, we don't know if it's the same dick. Or if it's a new dick and they're using a voice. This is the same dick. Uh, same dick. Okay, great. Uh, <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Is it just me? Is it just me? Oh, oh shit. <laughs> Sorry. God. I had to read that at first a little bit to make sure uh, that it was okay to read. Is it just me, or has Mike made references on multiple occasions to having shit his pants after getting drunk? And no, I'm not talking about when he played Don't Shit Your Pants. I have no recollection of this. I, maybe? I don't remember. Maybe it's just you and... We've talked on camera to. a lot at this point. I don't remember all our jokes. I'll start it again and play atten pay attention to the cutscenes next time. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good idea. Um, Harry Flashmanvik. To all you fine folks, I bought my digital copy of Space Cop and all my dreams came true. I'm calling it here. Rich is going to steal Leo's Oscar this year. He can't because he won't get his Oscar till next year. No, Rich is physically going to steal his Oscar. Okay. What does it take to submit something to the Oscars? What do you need to be eligible? <laughs> well, oh, uh, Space Cop won't be eligible because in order to submit it to the Oscars, it needs to have played in at least one theater in Los Angeles yes. between any given year. So I guess it still could be. It could be. You need we to have the rest of this year to get it into a theater in Los Angeles. You have to play it in one theater in Los Angeles. And then what does it cost to submit? Nothing. I don't think it costs anything to submit. Fuck it, let's do it. I think you have to be a part of the Academy. Well, the, the, you have to be a part of the Academy to vote, of course. You need to be part of Did the... It, do I need to be SAG? I don't know. Probably. You, you probably need to be in the guilds in order to be nominated. That would make sense. That would make sense. And none of you are part of any guild. No. 
So it's it's pr- just probably not going to happen. <laughs> um, Such a shame. Oh, uh, the the chat wants to know, Rich uh, wants you to know that they're very proud of you for for stepping up your XCOM two game. Hey, look, Commander difficulty is just a bitch, apparently. Uh, apparently. Um, Johnny Le Wombat. It's carnival time <coughs> here in New Orleans. Happy Marty Grass, guys. Uh, you too, I guess. I've never been to Mardi Gras. Happy carnival. Happy carnival. Oh, I know. My shirt probably looks weird now because the green screen settings got all fucked up. And my shirt, I sh- I w- I'm wearing a shirt that has like green tones to it. So it's probably like picking up weird with the green screen and mm. everything's we- everything sucks. Everything's terrible. <laughs> Bubbles? Bubbles? Bubbles. What? I don't know. What? Oh. And my eyes are weird too? Probably. Are my eyes weird? Are they picking up on the green screen weird? Blame chroma. I will always blame the chroma key. <laughs> something fun about the chroma key. We did uh, this last prereq episode, and, and Rich and I wanted to try something a little new. And so we filmed ourselves on the green screen. Oh, yeah. And we put in the new backgrounds. We put in some a- some animated backgrounds of old arcade video games. Commander. Okay. And I think they look really good. I'm really happy with how it turned out. And, you know, we have something interesting happening while we're just chatting about yeah. the games and whatnot. Um, but I couldn't... Uh, the chroma key in Premiere wasn't doing a good enough job for me. Hmm. So after I edited the entire episode, I took my timeline and Rich's timeline... Avenger. Over to After Effects. Sure. Green screen and After Effects, and you know the After Effects and Premiere sync up together, and did it in After Effects, and everything was great. And After Effects is great for green screen. After Effects is amazing for green screen. So it it looked great. Everything was great. Um, normally, this was a twenty-five minute episode. Yeah. Normally, to render out maybe three hours. Okay. I have a slower, you know, I have an older uh, computer. Sure. Not, oh my. Yeah, I'm getting there. Oh my god. The, I'm not exaggerating. 22 hours. <laughs> yeah, that's not surprising. 22 that hours not surprising. to export the video before I could watch it. <laughs> I couldn't Wouldn't watch it. Wouldn't that suck if there, you notice some sort of error? There is yeah. there is an error. Uh, and you just left it? I left it because fuck it. I understand. There is a, a half a second shot of me in which I forgot to put the green screen on. <laughs> so you just see the green screen in the background and everything. Okay. Fuck it. You can say that's a peak behind the curtain. That's Absolutely. an intentional... Uh, uh, showing of what happens behind the scenes. <laughs> so, so this episode was done editing, or was done being edited uh, Saturday morning, but I couldn't get it up until tonight. Oh wow! <laughs> because it took twenty-two hours to edit to render out. Yeah, I believe it. Jeebus! So we're gonna we're we're figure we're still tweaking we're tweaking <laughs> that formula. Okay. Oh, okay. You can click on different... I get it. Okay. I uh, get it. Saber Mouse says what you need to do is encode the movie as a DCP file that a projector can play. Put that on a hard drive and book an independent theater to run it. For we'll, Space Cop. We'll get right on that. And it's absolutely going to happen. Top priority. Yep. <laughs> Commander. Setting course for Sector 15, West Asia. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad you guys thought that the missing... Uh, Chroma key uh, was a joke. Hopefully, most people think it's a joke, but nope. I just apparently forgot to put it on that one clip. Always use your shortcomings to your advantage. Yep. Oh, I mean, it was a joke. I did it on purpose. <laughs> it was a joke, and I did it on purpose. No, nope, it was not a joke or on purpose. <laughs> I'm sorry. So we're we're still tweaking, tweaking the old formula. We, we might go. We might go back to real sets, as it's just way easier to edit. Oh my god! What do, what do people think about it though? <clears throat> what do you guys think about the new look? That's a good question. Anonymous, I'm not going to read that comment. Just want to let you know that. <laughs> I'm just curious what it was. I'll show it to you later. Okay. Um. Jack fucked something up. No way. I know. It's weird. I thought the audio was on point this time, though. I found exactly the right 
um, multi-band compressor settings to uh, to even us out oh. in Premiere. Because I know with uh, when recording on the H6, we, we would get peaks and valleys. Yeah, some parts are really quiet, some parts are really loud, and then you have to mix the whole you thing. You have to mix the whole thing, but I found in the compressors there's something that brings up and brings down and, and uh, attacks and releases really nicely. Okay. So I was really happy with that. But I liked it, but the retro cutouts were still really on point. It looked good, but I kept watching the asteroids. It was an, ex it was an experiment. Yeah. Jack's background was too distracting. Yeah, I had the colorful one. You're right. It's all right, guys. Next time I'll let Rich edit it. <laughs> you found the graphic behind me a little distracting? I can see that. It was an experiment. Sometimes you got to mix it up. Mix up the old formula. Yeah, actually, the, some, the majority of people are saying they all liked it, but it was a bit distracting. Mm. <laughs> we might just go back to the real sets, as it would save us quite literally one day. <laughs> <laughs> That's the worst, too, when something takes a ridiculous amount of time to export, because mm. it's like, it's done! I want to get it out there! Exactly! And it just takes so long. Just, it just, and there's just nothing you can do. There's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can do. Uh, Rich is now playing on what difficulty are you playing? Veteran. Veteran now. He was playing on Commander. Yeah, yeah, just keep bringing it up. Well, just keep <laughs> keep bringing it up. Don't <laughs> stop bringing it up. Please let it be the only thing you talk about. I think it's important though cuz you're you are a veteran, like an XCOM 1 veteran and that's that speaks to the difficulty of this game. Uh, what version of Tempest was playing behind me? That was the arcade version, but I put <gasps> Yes. I put an effect what do you on want? it to make it look um, more pixely. So mm. that that's just the standard arcade version, but I put a fun effect on it just to make it look different than the arcade version because I thought it looked cool. Um, Leftover Beepcake says, This tip is for a Police Quest 2 animated background. <laughs> okay, not much action in Police Quest 2, but I want one anyways, damn it. Okay. You know, at Titch121, uh, at Titch121 says, I'm so sick of XCOM pan fans putting so much importance on difficulty settings. And I, I'm going to echo that comment with all games. The, impor <laughs> the important part of a game is that it is challenging to you and rewarding for winning. And if that is means that you play at a lesser difficulty settings, then so be it. Everyone's different. Everyone plays a little differently. It's it's not cool to make somebody feel bad because they're playing at a lower difficulty. Right. But I think it's fair to like a higher difficulty. Okay, sure. But yes, you should never make fun of someone for playing the, at a lesser difficulty. The original... Well, not the original. Well, the original is hard, too. But, I mean, mm. the, the new one, I, I found it very, very rewarding to master. Sure. And see, I like, like you know, like a, a game like Bloodborne or the Dark Souls game has no difficulty settings. It just is as hard as oh the game is. My and I really like God. that. The merits of the game alone. Uh... Rich Reed Starda says it's refreshing to see an XCOM stream from someone new to the series, like myself. Oh, I'm not new to the series. I'm just I had a really bad. Oh no, I think he's talking about like my. Oh, me oh. talking about because I know not you know I I know nothing about XCOM. I'm looking forward to getting a little more into it. I've played uh, an hour and a half, but most of that time was spent um, uh, making my characters look fun, <laughs> which was really fun. Um, I'm I'm making the war girls. Every character uh, I'm making is uh, going to be a bald girl with a skull face paint, <laughs> and I'm giving them all. Um, oh my God! <clears throat> I'm giving them all food names. It's almost a joke. It's why? Wow. Uh, no, it's great. It's That's, great. I'm, so te I'm teasing you. There. So they're no, all. Great. They're all. All of my. All of my warriors are going to be bald women with skull face paint. So they're going to be the war girls. And uh, I'm giving them all food names, <laughs> because in my in my head, when you girls join, like eating, no, when you join my army, 
That, there's only two things you need to be worried about. Shooting aliens and eating food where so you have the energy to shoot aliens. Where your next meal is going to come from. Exactly. <laughs> so you better shoot them aliens. Oh, shit, no. I, so I got a, I got a to heavy a, uh, grenade. I meant to do a waypoint and I oh. fucked up. Uh oh. I got a heavy and uh, she's ham sandwich. <laughs> I got a sniper, mac and cheese. I got a ranger. Uh, uh, that's spinach. <laughs> I would have had issues anyway. <laughs> I just discovered this website. <laughs> That specializes yep. in uh, producing and selling realistic-looking plastic food. And I now just want to adorn my place with fake food what? as, as what like is, decor. What is... Why are they selling realistic plastic food? I don't know, but I'm glad they are. Oh, my God! <laughs> you get realistic-looking uh, cheeseburgers with fries... Hot dogs. Are, uh, like, you can get uh, a, a whole chicken, cooked or uncooked. Yeah. Uh, yeah, all sorts of stuff. Do you think it's meant for like restaurants to like showcase their food, or I don't know. You don't care. I don't care. This is. This I know. Is... I just want to use it to decorate. <laughs> I can see that. Oh my god. Um. <laughs> Rich, yeah. I'm, really, I'm really sorry for having to read all these. It's okay. But I'm going to read all these. Uh, Anonymous would like to say, Rich, would you say that commander difficulty is more difficult than x time 2? I'm pretty sure you'd have no trouble with commander difficulty in the first one. Commander difficulty, commander difficulty. I think they're making fun of you. for. I think they're joking about you or dropping the difficulty level. Oh, uh, uh. Okay. <laughs> also, Rich Reed Stardust says, no, that was a dig at Rich's difficulty drop. Someone new to the XCOM series was uh, making fun of you for dropping. Uh, so... Uh, the the chat's making fun of you, but they're paying money to make fun of you, and so we'll read it. <laughs> You're all jerks. <laughs> uh, Jack, will you be giving out how much money you guys have made in subs and donations? Fine if you say no. Just that last year, Rich got a PC. What about a PC for Jack? Get one with an NVIDIA Quadro. Uh, we probably won't release those numbers because I don't imagine that's something anybody does. Uh, I, my PC still plays games well. I've had it for a long time. I mean, my, my Mac is getting older. It will be time to upgrade, but I'm a stubborn and poor son of a bitch. <laughs> so. Oh my god! Uh, so it's just one of those things where, uh, I, I'm, I, we, we like spending money on games. We bought XCOM 2. We pre-ordered that. You know, uh, all of the money goes towards the show. We bought nice lights. Right. We bought this green screen. This is a great green screen, by the way. It folds up, and it's it's like a elastic on all the sides, it's, so it's taut all the time. Nice, flat green screen. Bought this webcam so we could do video. You know, like all of the money goes to the stream, and if we get oh enough... Oh, my God! If we get enough for a new computer for me, that'd be great. But, you know, that's not a priority at the moment. Um, uh, oh, okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. Hold. Well, I'm going to get to that. Is this more than usual? This is yes, more, slightly more than usual. It's because you're here. But they're mostly asking things to you guys. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's not really. Uh, maybe it's. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't uh, know nothing. Uh, this. This is what you get for playing FTL, oh you bastards. Oh my god! Okay. What does that mean? I don't know. I don't know. That's just what he said. Uh, are you guys looking forward to Deadpool at all? Yeah. Yes. Eh. There you go. Really? It's a, mo it's a movie. No, it's I, I mean, I, you're you're a fan of Deadpool. I don't know anything about Deadpool. I'm not even a super huge fan of Deadpool. It just looks fun. It looks like... I mean, it, it could be. I, I don't know. It looks like it could be... Like possibly trying too hard. Maybe. It had lots of really dated pop culture references in the trailer, which was weird. Referencing, like, the Spice Girls, and, like, Rosie O'Donnell. It's like, these feel really out of date, these references. That's, that's Deadpool. Okay, maybe that's the character. Maybe it'll make sense in the context of the movie. I could be. I don't know. It, I could go either way with it. I like Ryan Reynolds, and I like Deadpool, so yeah. I, 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 I appreciate, not to get my hopes up. Yeah, I appreciate that it seems to be, like, a passion project of his. Mm -hmm. Like, he's wanted to make this for a while, so yeah. that's neat. It's not just something that exists because it's a known property. Like, I don't even know. Is Deadpool that well-known of a 
characters. Yes. He is. Okay. So he's very popular. Like okay. he, he's Oh my he is, god. I'm, I'm trying to think of a fa uh, of a good analogy where it's like amongst the fans mm. of people who read comic books everyone Well, knows fans of comics, sure. But I'm yeah. talking about a like everybody knows the X-Men. Like a general audience sure. knows that. A general audience will not know Deadpool. That, okay, that's what I mean. Yeah. But I if you've even read one comic book, you know and love Deadpool. Okay. He's the he's the Boba Fett of uh, comics. Sure. Um, uh, Grand Moff Kali has an interesting uh, proposition for us, Rich. Yeah. I'll, uh, I, I assume you mean I'll donate $250. Okay. If we shut the tips off for the night. <laughs> is that is that unfair oh to other God. people, though, that just want to ask questions or whatever? That It is a little unfair. and also I, I don't know how the system works, so I don't know for sure. That's why I'm asking. It's an interesting proposition. Oh, my God. <laughs> why would anyone yeah. want to shut this off? I don't know. Uh, uh, here's one thing I can say. We probably won't be streaming for terribly much longer. We did start a little bit earlier oh than you. Oh, my God. <laughs> Why would anyone want to shut this off? Why would up? anyone want to shut that off? Uh, I'm going to say, even if you tip that much, my my gut reaction is no. We won't shut them off because this is just something we leave open. Where's the extra? Oh, and two, I just don't think you're going to get your money's worth because I don't know how much longer we're going to be streaming. Ah. Um, uh, Rich Reed Stardust would like to say, Rich put himself in a digital dunking booth. Talking about difficulty levels and whatnot. Um, so that's it. Um, uh, Lost in Technicolor says, here's a few bucks. I have no snarky comments because I'm not an asshole. Uh, Cheer up, Rich. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Lost in Technicolor. User 277221 says, Jay Bauman. Oh, my God. Is the wind beneath my wings every moment without him on screen feels like an eternity to me. <laughs> I think that says more about you than it does about me. There you go. <laughs> Manny the Variking. One, does Rich know about weapon mods? He has picked up a few already. I, I'm going to get more in-depth in the game when there's not, oh, my gods and chit-chat and everything. Yep. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> to dig in later. Yes. Right now, I'm just casually fucking around. Okay. Two, will characters... Oh, my <laughs> God. Will characters get named after subs, donations, like in old XCOM streams? Not tonight. I wasn't even thinking about it. No, well, and you know what? Not tonight because uh, you're just fucking around anyway. But if we play XCOM 2 more, we're going to play XCOM 2 more. Uh, yes, we will do that. Uh, Anonymous, hey. Will you guys be doing another Best of the Worst or anything with Max Landis? The last one was great. Moving. Max Landis does not live in Milwaukee. Oh, yeah. That's the problem. Oh, my God. Some, to some degree, that's up to him. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's that's the problem with anyone that we've worked with that doesn't live in Milwaukee. It, it's mm -hmm. depending on schedules and stuff. He's obviously a fan of bad movies, and I think he was verbose enough to handle himself. Mm -hmm. But time will tell. Yeah, time will tell. Theseus, the I think you guys will get more tips if you continue playing The Witness. <laughs> Sure, plenty of them will be of people telling you to stop playing, but tips are tips. P.S. <laughs> I really enjoyed that stream. Well, thank you. You know, the game got a little old for us. I some people do say that the witness oh gets um God. deeper as you go. Nothing deeper into its own shit. Nothing compelled me to play it more, so I I don't think that's going to oh happen. Oh my God! Um. Are you guys going to play uh, the Wii U again? I think you'd enjoy Rayman and the Mario games for co-op. I love Rayman. Rayman uh, Origins is a fantastic platforming game. I really enjoy that game. Uh, so, maybe. This, I don't even know if Origins is on Wii U. Or if the sequel. But I really like that Rayman game. Or one of the Mario games. Yes, we. I mean, we have a Wii U. We'll play it right now. It's XCOM 2, obviously. Uh, this is a question for Jay, so I'll have to wait till he comes back into the room. Jay, any chance Feeding Frenzy will be available on DVD again? Uh, hold on a second. Oh my God, 
Uh, um, uh, unknown at this point. Understood. We're not sure. So there's your answer. It is available digitally. Still available. It was digitally. available on DVD for a very long time. We just recently <laughs> sold out. And whether it's a, a worthwhile investment to repress them is is, oh is, is up in the air. God. That's the real question. That's the real question: is do they feel like enough will be sold to? Because it, yeah, it, it it's it's costly to do these things mm -hmm. to get these things pressed. Absolutely. So, so we'll see. Possibly. That's a good answer. I do not have a, a solid answer yet. That's a, No, I think that's a fine answer. Uh, let's see here. If you ever want to include English captions in the disc for your future films, many of us are happy to help for free. Myself included. Also, thanks for getting the wizard to sign my space cop. Copy says Doobie Sandwich. Oh, Doobie that Sandwich, are you the one that that was a forgery? <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. That's not true. Uh, are you the the person that asked for just his signature? <laughs> Let us know because somebody did that, yep. and I thought that was novel and funny. And he signed it great and all across the whole front. The yeah. fucking wizard. It was I great. guess just for the novelty of having <laughs> the only oh copy signed by him, <laughs> and he's not really in the movie. He's in the background <laughs> of one scene, yep. two scenes. I love it. <laughs> I love it. So, but you know, oh my god! The uh, the point is, if you ever need someone to caption all stuff right. for you, you have an army of volunteers. Well, all right, thank ready you to people. go. Thank you, Doobie Sandwich. Lesbian laser battle would like to say, Rich, try Star Sector. It's an indie game with tactical ship combat, kind okay. of like Masters of Orion Two, Ooh. except for you directly drive the ships. What's it called? Uh, Star Sector. I look into that. I like Master of Orion 2. Rich is on it. Also, Commander Difficulty, Commander Difficulty. Star, Star what now? <laughs> Star Sector. Star Sector, okay. Do you want to Do you want to write it down? Yeah, write it down, please, please. Yeah, write it down, write on that piece of paper that you have right there. Rich is writing it down right now. He enjoys space two, two words or one word? It's one word, Star Sector. Star Sector? Star Sector. Beep. Um, Mr. Sister Fister. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. <laughs> right? But it all rhymes. It, it does. Uh, but you. It's a fans for you. <laughs> They're all you. <laughs> uh, every, single, every single disgusting one of them. <laughs> <laughs> um, what happened to the Feeding Frenzy DVD? I want to order it. Uh, they sold out. They just sold out. They sold out. And like Jay just explained, it costs a lot of money up front to have them printed. It's not like they print to order. Right. Um, and so they need to decide whether or not it's cost effective enough. If anyone will buy them, besides you two in, in the <laughs> chat here. But it is still available digitally. It is still available digitally. And it will very soon uh, oh. be available in 1080. Because right now it's a 720. Okay. Uh, and the extras that were on the DVD that are not on the digital version will be available. Hey! So commentary and all that. Now, Some, sometime in the near future. That's a real update, right? And, there. and... Breaking if, news. If you've already purchased it, I believe when I add those things and update it, you'll get, like, an email notification saying new material is available. And you, and you sure. get those. And you will get those. Because if you've, you've already, already purchased it. Yeah. Nice! That's amazing! We're not complete jerks! <laughs> 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 yeah, no, especially since the, the DVD went out of print. I was like, we should get the stuff that's not available available. That's, so. I think that's very Wait, good. Mission Fit? I thought I, th oh, wait, I, I don't know, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. You didn't extract the VIP. Yeah, yeah. Oh. That's great news, Jay. Yeah. All right, let's see here. Tell Jay to watch <sighs> Serial Experiments Lane. Oh Never even heard of that. Serial Experiments Lane? And Lane is spelled L-A-I-N. Okay. I have Are no they talking about Serial the oh podcast? My God. And they, said, they said watch. Okay. I don't know what that is. You don't know what that is. I've never heard of this no, thing. They're hunched over when they're wounded. Yeah. That's neat. Yeah, that's neat. What is it? Serial what? Serial Experiments Lane. All right. I'm looking it up. Jay's looking it up. Oh, don't! It's an anime. J then J won't. Oh, watch then why? It. Yeah, I probably won't. Lane <laughs> is an anime. He's probably not going to watch it. Okay, anonymous uh, says no offense to Jack or Jay, but Rich, will you ever stream XCOM 2 solo? 
Why would we take offense? To I, that? I've I've never planned XCOM. I, I mean, uh, solo streams in advance. Really, they just kind of happen. Oh <laughs> my god! Okay. I don't know. I don't know. I can only assume if Rich is doing a solo stream anytime soon, it will be XCOM 2. Possibly. So, solo streams aren't a thing that happens. Maybe I'll do Dragon's Dogma. Who knows? Ooh. Who knows? Rich likes Dragon's Dogma. It's true. I do. I do. Strangely. Yeah. Uh, Jay. Yes. Sorry, the last time in Eau Claire was so shitty, says the real van. Was it shitty last time you were in Eau Claire? Uh, when was the last time I was in Eau Claire? I have no idea. Was that for the, the anime convention? Oh, maybe that's it. Oh, yeah. Any plans for future meet and greets in Wisconsin Twin Cities area? Uh, no plans at the moment, no. Okay. Ah. We're usually out drinking pretty late. And so <laughs> <laughs> we hit up most of the bars. <laughs> All right. I am got, says Jack. Let's start a Kickstarter to raise money for a GoFundMe so I can get a new computer. <laughs> I don't think I need, like, I don't need one yet. I'm just, I, I think I can eke out at least another year. How old is yours? Very. <laughs> it's six years old. Okay. I've, uh, I've upgraded the RAM recently, but, it, you know. That, that helps, yeah. And, it, like, when I got it, I got the one with the, the nicer processor. But it's still, you know, it's a six-year-old processor. Oh, sure. Yeah, I want to say it's six You can years still old. get get work out of it. Still st- it takes a while away. sometimes, but it's yeah. still working. I think I think I can make another year mm. with this one. Is my hope. Cuz computers be expensive. <laughs> uh okay, anonymous as Michael Kane. You crossed the line. Oh, no way. I now I need to get my Michael Kane back. What do we do when we fall? <laughs> you crossed the line, Master Wayne. You squeezed them. You hammered them to the point of desperation. And in their desperation, they turned to a man they didn't fully understand. <laughs> That's pretty good. I, you know, it's... Michael Caine does this awful Cockney accent. Isn't that just his accent? I think that's just his voice. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's just his voice. But Alfred is a butler. Yeah. He is an old school British butler, and British butlers do not have Cockney accents because they serve royalty, so they would not have a commoner accent. But he didn't serve royalty. He's, he's just a guy that's a butler. He's Alf, he's a butler. Yeah. He's probably got a really complicated backstory. If only we would have been, uh, known any of it. I fucking hate him as Alfred. He's really? The, he's the worst. No, Michael Caine's fine. You know, he's not Alfred. Who's Alfred in the new one? Is there an Alfred in I'm Batman vs. Sure Superman? Oh, there is. It's uh, it's someone we know, too. It's, oh, that's uh, right. It's Jeremy Irons. Jeremy Irons, yeah. I, I forgot. I could see Jeremy Irons as a good Alfred. I guess. Jeremy Irons, I mean. It's no it's no uh, Dungeons & Dragons. If he played it like he played his role in Dungeons & Dragons, <laughs> then we'd have something. <laughs> <laughs> that is the best thing, that Dungeons and Dragons movie. <laughs> Holy shit! Right? It's just the best. I'm drawing a blank on his fucking name. He just died. I was Jeremy, gonna say, Jeremy Irons? No, 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 no. <laughs> Jeremy uh, Irons Hans, died. Hans Gruber, Snape, Alan I'm Rickman. Like, Alan oh Rickman. My God. How, what oh. about him as Alfred? Oh, he'd be a good Alfred. Yeah. He would make a good Alfred. He can't anymore. He can't anymore. Oh, rest in peace. Mm. Rest in peace, Alan Rickman. Oh, he would make. Oh, that just makes me more sad. He would, he would have made the perfect Alfred. That's who Alfred is. The oh Snape, you know, like God. very stern, very businesslike, but caring undertones. Yeah. Oh, oh, that just made me so sad. <laughs> thinking of what a great, <laughs> thinking of what a great Alfred he would have been. <laughs> oh, that's all right. That's okay. That's okay. Rest in uh, peace, Alan Rickman, and rest in peace, every other artist that we grew up with, because they're all dying. They're all dying right now. Everybody's dying. And you know what? They're going to keep dying. I know. It's unfortunate. We're at that point where it's Welcome like, to aging, motherfucker. We're, <laughs> we're at that point where everyone that we grew up with is, is starting to, to pass away at a more regular pace. Yeah. What was the first big one? Robin Williams? Hmm. Huge well, actor from our youth. It was, yeah, who wasn't that old? Wasn't like a, that who, wasn't an old age. Who thing, wasn't yeah. old when we were young? Yeah, yeah, but I mean, Alan Rickman's not an old age thing either. Like, yeah, that no, that's no, the no, other no, thing. No. Everyone's fucking dying of oh cancer. If if Robert Williams had dementia, which I've heard he had, Robert Williams, if Robert Robin Williams had dementia, which I heard he had, then yeah, 
age kind of was a factor. Oh mm. my That's true. God! Yeah. Guts going nuts. It says the chat sucks, Jay. Lane. <laughs> Lane is nothing like typical anime. Which is exactly is what, what everyone says. <laughs> everybody says that. <laughs> Lane? This, this the, the whatever it was. Serial. Oh. But no, no, this isn't this like one's, the This other one's different. Uh, Look, I, it's all crap. <laughs> big eyes and goofy no, teenagers. It's not, that's not true. Uh, but that's not true. It's I, I just, I girls with squeaky voices. Every girl in anime talks like a four-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> it's IQ of, of a three-year-old talks like a four-year-old. That's that's an ideal Japanese woman for you. I, I'm not gonna <laughs> I'm not gonna speak for you, Jay. But I, I assume that one of the things that you like about movies is the process of movie making. Yes. And so with an animated feature, it's it's not it doesn't have the. I mean, I like animated films. Sure. Uh, I've just not seen. I've seen some anime, and mm. I haven't seen any that's really you know. That's, that's uh, hooked held my interest. So. And, you know, I, I enjoy that's not, that's not to say it doesn't you exist. Know, Maybe I will things. try again at some point, but right. yeah, we'll see. They're 12 and dressed like a stripper, but she's really 150 years old. That's every anime. You're right. 1,500 is what they said. Oh, I read that. Oh, then there yeah, you go. Yeah, good, good enough. Good enough. Good enough. Whatever. Um, it's surreal, super slow science fiction series. At least look at it. Okay. I will look into it. I make that promise. Oh, well, there you go. I already have it in my history now on IMDb, so okay. I will go back to it. Um, uh, Blow Tractor says, Jeremy Irons as Alfred. Every time Bruce leaves to do Batman stuff, Alfred invites his friends over, it, and it's like Dead Ringers. <laughs> I don't know what Dead Ringers is. Dead Ringers, he, uh, it's a David Cronenberg movie, okay. which means it's, it's weird and fucked up. Uh, <laughs> and he plays twin brothers that are gynecologists. <laughs> And Love it gets it. And, it, and shit gets creepy. It's a great movie, and his performance in it as the two twins is is really good. <laughs> I love it. Don't know if this has been asked yet, but will you guys make Jay play Outlast two when it comes out? He seemed to like the first one. I think we're we're gonna try to make Jay play another horror movie or horror video game. Sure, because he liked he did like that little bit of Outlast. I did. We still need to do our um, no board run. Oh, for Alien <laughs> at, at this point. It's, no, it's it's gonna oh! happen. We said it was going to happen. At one point, <laughs> the entire stream will be Jay plays Alien Isolation until he gets bored, and then the whole stream is done. Okay. Because I, well, you know why? Because I be think a, it's funny. It'll be a twenty-minute stream. It'll either be Unless a twenty-minute like stream. It. I guess. We'll or see. we are the only it. people on the internet who didn't like <laughs> Alien Isolation. All right, it's true. Um. <laughs> guts going nuts. I know. Uh, guts going nuts. Would like to say you guys suck too. It's not like that he, about, you know, Lane isn't <laughs> like every other anime. Yeah. I wouldn't recommend this if I didn't think it was right up Jay's alley. Okay. And like Jay said, it is in his IMDb I, history. I will read more about it and make a decision based on that. We'll see. There we go. Guts going nuts. We're, we're, we're just poking at you, man. As someone who typically hates anime, yeah. I'm kind of curious about Berserk. Yeah? Just kind of fantasy thing about a, with a main hero who's just kind of horribly violent. <laughs> <laughs> And kills things. I like swords. a lot of anime. I, I enjoy it because because it's so fantastical, and you can do things in an animated feature that no one could ever do in a real movie. Oh sure, and that's why I love it. Chat, would I like Berserk? Because you know me. Some of you think you do. Sometimes you're entirely <laughs> wrong. <laughs> <laughs> would I like Berserk? Berserk is great. The Not if you think it's great. Would I think it's great? Berserk is crazy. Someone who hates anime. This is the best. Berserk is really good. Berserk is great. Uh, read the comic is what they're saying. Okay. Berserk is fucking sick. Berserk is good. Just read the manga. Uh, it, it's, it really sounds like uh, you should read the comic. Okay. But maybe, maybe I'll look into it at some point. Okay. There you go. Uh, Dark Souls gets a lot of inspiration from Berserk, according to thank you for subscribing. Berserk influenced Dark Souls. Uh, the anime lures you in uh, to the manga. Everyone, everyone is saying, read the comic, read the comic, read the comic. Read the comic, read the comic, read the comic. Well, now I have to know, what did the anime do wrong? That's, that's a, a yeah. good question. Dark Souls, Bloodborne, and some elements of Dragon's Dogma have been inspired by Berserk. Uh, 
Berserk sucks. <laughs> Berserk is violent and rapey? Question mark. So it's an anime. It's a I like that comment. <laughs> I like that comment. Um, the anime didn't do anything wrong. It's just the pencil art in the comic is incredible. Okay. Oh, okay. I okay. can see that. I really enjoy that pe that kind of style, that pencil art style. Are you done, Rich? I'm done. You're done. I'm done. Okay. I'm gonna say this. I think played a little bit. Yeah. I miss the sectoids. I miss those little <laughs> crawling around. The the alien looking alien. I yes. I don't know. I'm 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 sure I'm sure aliens are gonna start appearing. Sure. But the humanoids kind of a l early let down. Okay. How? I me knowing very little about XCOM one. Or you know new XCOM one. <laughs> Uh, this seemed very similar in gameplay style to XCOM 1. I need to digest this. Okay. This is, You're not ready I'm for that I'm playing yet. this in a weird environment with, right. the, the, oh my god, being yelled in my ear every 10 seconds. And <laughs> yes, that's my own fault. <laughs> <laughs> the, the intent was to be once every 5 to 10 minutes, not 10 oh seconds. Oh my god! <laughs> What's guts? They're the things that are inside oh your body. Oh, my God! <laughs> uh, guts, guts Going Nuts says, guess where Guts is from? That's right, fucking Berserk. You need to get this comic, this Berserk comic. That's what... Rich mentions, I, 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 Rich mentions maybe liking possibly one anime, and everyone's like, get it! Fucking get it, <laughs> but read the manga. The manga's better. It's, you got you to do it now. Uh, Jack notices dudes says it's been too long since an oh my god here's five bucks. No. Thanks, Jack notices dude. All right, why don't you pull up the uh, subscribers? All right, all right. let me. We need, give me. I need to get out of this. So I need to some escapees. You got you got escapees. Yeah. You got escapees. I'm gonna start from scratch. So I'm not worried about saving shit. I'm sure it auto saved 48 times. Oh oh, I get it. Guts is the name of the protagonist in Berserk, and his name is Guts going nuts. Um, okay. And Berserk okay. is about a character who goes nuts. I get it. I get it now. We are like we're weirdly out of focus now. Oh, it's because I fucked is up. Is it the is it about a character who's going nuts, or are you just jumping to conclusions now? Oh, I, I think know. you're just jumping to conclusions. Well, or it just rhymes. So <laughs> you want to use your name. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, great. Let's do this. Where is it? What's I thought you had it up on your laptop. I don't have it up on my laptop. Oh fuck! I, I thought I it. thought that was one of the things you had up on the laptop. I had no. I told you I had. The, oh, you didn't. Are you, are you joking? Nope. No, it's right there. I see it. It's behind her. That's the OBS. <sighs> I, I, I honestly thought it was on your laptop. I thought you had that and that. We didn't turn on the twatcher. Nope. You guys are an embarrassment. We are an embarrassment. What the fuck? <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> 